Uh, thanks everybody for coming, uh, especially on a beautiful day like today. Um, as I was coming here, I kind of thought these were the days I usually tried to convince the professor to let us go outside and sit outside, but I figured I'd have to move us all in to sit under a tree, but yeah, you're the professor. Uh, yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> professor Brown. <laughs> um, so uh, when we first started talking about this panel, it, it was uh, to be about development and, you know, figuring that uh, a lot of people are probably, um, have maybe have done a couple of shorts or have shorts in the film festival and are kind of looking at their first or second feature, uh, getting that off the ground and uh, developing uh, screenplays and concepts and ideas. And so we wanted to put uh, both a writer-director on the panel and, uh, and a producer because, uh, you know, you have to, in development, development's about a couple of things. Obviously, it's about getting that concept to a place where maybe you can attract other people to come on board attract a producer, attract an executive producer um, that you need. It's also about uh, gathering financing and get people kind of to buy in on the, uh, the idea as you develop it. So you're thinking two, three, four years ahead in terms of how you're going to finance the project. And then also, obviously, there's the, the real work of development, which is, uh, you know, writing the draft, having uh, discussions with story editors, trying to put together the package ultimately. And so uh, just thinking of all that, uh, work and, and, and that world, but in, in also in the reality that I think we find ourselves in now, which is one that uh, financing is in, in, in ever more difficult to find uh, in terms of financing a feature, um, both within Canada and internationally. And uh, I think it's a sad uh, state of affairs where actually many countries are now looking at Canada thinking we've got lots of money versus places like you know Ireland and other places that used to be uh, places we would co-produce with more often. Um, and so what we, I, we've seen recently in, in features is a, a kind of um, a gulf in which there's high budget stuff, you know, Barney's version, David Cronenberg films, and then there's an increasingly kind of lower budget uh, realm which is anywhere from maybe 500,000 up to 2 million, and then there's a really place in between where there's a, a total gap, so the films that we used to make that were four, five, six, seven million uh, aren't getting made so much or are in, in, in increasingly difficult to make. And where that hits development is in that size of budget, you could have a normal development budget where you would apply to us, and you'd apply to telefilm, and maybe provincial agencies, you'd pay the writer, uh, you know, writer's guild, you'd hire a story editor, you'd pay them, you producer would they get paid. Uh, and increasingly, um, when's that happening? Let me know. <laughs> and but in, increasingly now, if your budget's only going to be a million and a half or a million, you can't bulk up the development cost because development money is repaid on principal photography. So in a way, you have to finance it twice. So what? When I, I talk to these two guys, which I'll now introduce, we kind of wanted to figure out about how to, how you put the development budget and development costs and development process together in a world of less resources. And so what are some of the kind of tricks and new ways of doing things? 